Hi there! Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited about what I have in my hands here. Inside this very box is a brand new guitar that I have not seen. I got it yesterday and I had to use an immense amount of willpower and self-control to not open the box and play the guitar. <laughs> <laughs> D'Angelico sent me a new acoustic electric guitar that I could not be more excited about. It is a new model of something similar that I have here. This is my main acoustic electric guitar that I use on tour, on stage, at home, making songs. I play this thing to no end. I love it. The reason that I love this guitar so much is because it's got a narrow body and it's a Fishman pickup, so, you know, dependable. Great pickups. And then it also has tone knobs on the side here, so you can adjust it that way. But it's so small and easy to play and very comfortable for someone my size. I am 5'2 for reference and I've got short arms, you know? I'm quite a tiny person. But having a small guitar makes it easy to play for hours on end. And I will be doing just that. Also, this one. I love my green D'Angelico guitar. It has completely shaped me as a player over the last 10 years because this was my main guitar for so long. As you can see, I have a little bit of a collection going on here and I could not be more excited to add another to the wall. I really can't, I can't wait. So why don't we just get into it? Let's unbox this beautiful guitar together and hear how it sounds and how it plays. Now this comes with a gig bag instead of a hard case. And this is the gig bag. It is a custom D'Angelico gig bag, as you can see. And it's got three protective grips on the side. This is truly an honor to get a guitar in the mail from company as a professional musician. And I am beyond grateful that they decided to send me this instrument. I know that most people are not as fortunate and I don't take that lightly. These kinds of things really mean a lot to me as a struggling musician and getting something like this sort of validates what it means to keep going forward as a musician. It really, really does mean a lot. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Now this really is my first time seeing this guitar in person. I'm like quite nervous and excited. Whoa. Holy smokes. Immediate first impression is that I love that the top is shiny. It feels lightweight and the color is stunning. I'll get some close up shots after I take this in. Now, this, this card here on the stock, I do believe is measurements of the frets. Wow, oh, the, the like pegs have inlay in them, which is pretty. These might be ebony. Wow, it's super lightweight. All right, I'm gonna tune it up real quick. I love the tuning pegs. This is Grover hardware. And I do believe the neck is ebony. Yeah, and this is the XL Gramercy model in autumn burst. The guitar is made in China. First impressions are that the action feels great. There is no buzzing when you play an open chord. The neck is not gloss, just so you know. On my other guitar, it is gloss. It feels really warm to me, which is exactly what I love in an acoustic guitar. There are so many different variations that you can have in an acoustic guitar, being, you know, punchy and bright versus warm and full. And I really love the feeling of this neck. If you can see, it is not shiny like the body. And the inlays are tiny little diamonds. I 
I am so impressed by this guitar. It's funny to make a video like this for me because I feel like to get a new instrument is sort of a shock to the system. You have to really get to know what you're working with because I feel like an instrument becomes a part of me. And I know that I'm trying to like do sort of a kind of review for you, but it feels really easy to play. And that is big for somebody with small hands. If you're looking for a new kind of maybe even beginner guitar and you want to invest in a piece, I think this would be a great buy. It does clock in at a thousand bucks basically, but I think instruments are always going to be worth it for long-term gain. If you're trying to save up for something, you know, you can always go on Reverb and look for something that's on sale, but D'Angelico is always gonna make a quality instrument and that's something I feel like I can trust at this point in my career. I'm gonna do some more audio tests with a different microphone for you and we'll see what I use. <laughs> All right, we are gonna try the Fishman pickup inside. I'd say that the pickup sounds great in my headphones. The one thing also is I've got no EQ on that pickup at all. I had a tiny bit of EQ on the microphone itself just because it can be quite low endy and that's not an accurate representation of what the guitar sounds like. This sounds fantastic in my ears. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, consider me tickled pink. This guitar feels so easy to play. Let's just go over some of the specs that I was talking about here. This is the XL Gramercy, an autumn burst. There's a solid spruce top with a mahogany back and sides, which 
you can really hear that warmth in the fact that they are full pieces of wood and not laminated. Mahogany, I've heard, is a warmer type of wood, and that definitely is what this gives off. The pickup is the Fishman Semitone, which is a tone knob on the left, and the volume is on the right side. We've got the Mother of Pearl diamond shape inlays here. The binding is three ply, and it is a gloss finish, obviously. The tuners are Grover 109s. The strings that they sent on the guitar are Diodarios. The fingerboard is ebony. It's 25 inches long. This is a 20 fret guitar. My other guitar is 21 frets, so just slightly longer than this. We've got X scallop bracing underneath, inside. Thank you so much for joining me to unbox my new guitar. Thanks to D'Angelico for sending it to me in the first place. I really, really do. I, I'm so grateful to get something like this in the mail. It feels unbelievable, really. And that kind of wouldn't be without people enjoying what I do. So thanks for being here. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. If you wanna see more gear reviews, I'd be happy to show you, you know, what's on my pedal board, what I'm gonna take on tour in Europe. I love gear. Year, and I think the older I get, the more I'm discovering how much it can change you as a player. And I used to be so afraid of experimenting because I just felt so insecure with guitar things. It seemed inaccessible to a degree. I just felt like I couldn't reach it. And now that I have, it feels incredible. So thank you. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.